Hello dear students, welcome back to my channel Hello Pharmacology. In this session, let us learn about the mechanism of action of cardiac glycosides. So to remember the mechanism of action of cardiac glycosides, let us see a diagram to understand how these cardiac glycosides are useful in the treatment of heart failure. So if you take this as a cardiac muscle cell So this is the cardiac muscle. So whenever you administer a digoxin, that means it belongs to cardiac glycosides. So it mainly acts on the very important channel that is responsible for the sodium and potassium transport across this channel. So this channel is called as sodium potassium ATPase or sodium potassium pump so regularly what happens is so the sodium from inside the cell will be exchanged with the potassium so three sodium will be exchanged with 2 potassium. So whenever you administer the digoxin or the cardiac glycoside, it binds to the cell membrane and it will going to inhibit this sodium potassium ATPase activity. So what happens to the sodium concentration? The sodium concentration will increase. Apart from this, there will also be inward flow of the sodium which in turn increases the sodium concentration so apart from that there is one more channel which you need to remember which is called as the sodium calcium exchanger sodium calcium exchanger its main activity is to move the calcium from inside to outside in exchange with the in exchange with the three sodium. So what happens whenever there is an increased in the sodium concentration so this calcium will be restored means the sodium calcium exchange will be halted so thereby there is an increase in the calcium levels apart from that there is a individual calcium channels which will increase the inward flow of the calcium ions so altogether there will be increased in calcium so increased calcium will going to stimulate the sarcoplasmic reticulum and there will be release of the calcium release of the calcium which in turn activates the troponin tropo then and further this troponin will lead to activation of the actin and 
myosin filament which is responsible for the contraction of the cardiac muscle thereby helping in the treatment of the heart failure so this was the mechanism of action of the digoxin mechanism of action of digoxin where you need to remember digoxin by inhibiting the sodium potassium ATPase pump they are going to cause the contraction of the cardiac muscle fibers thank you if you find this video useful please do subscribe to my channel i love pharmacology and do not forget to share and hit the like button and bell icon for more updates on pharmacology and coming days thank you